Hey guys, so I'm finally able to go over the Thorn quest for year three. So why did it take me so long? I will explain. You see, at this time, the Thorn bounty quest drops randomly, much like it did in year one. In order to get it to drop, you need to do the Iron Lord bounties that Shiro gives you. Then, at random, you will eventually get it. For some, they got it the first week. For me, I think it took my 29th bounty turn in before I finally got the thing to drop. And no, you don't need to be standing in front of Shiro or anything like that. You can just turn them in right from the screen. When the quest finally does drop, you will know very quickly. It'll appear on the right side of your screen, basically right as you turn in the bounty. The first thing it'll tell you to do is go find Eris, and then from then on, this quest is very self-explanatory. For those experienced with the year one version of Thorn, this is gonna feel really familiar. And for fun, to entertain myself while I edit this, I'm gonna show you where the year one part was in addition to the year three part, because fun, we're having fun. Eris will tell you to go do the Wretched Eye Strike. You can do this on any difficulty, it does not matter. As soon as you kill the boss, the next part of the quest will trigger, telling you to kill Fallen in the Plague Lands. Six kills got me about 2% of my bar, which would say that you need about 300 Fallen kills to complete this, but it might be a little bit more, it might be a little bit less. What I suggest doing is going to Archon's Forge if you have the opportunity, because you will tear through this part very, very quickly with some Forge offerings. Pairing this with your 15 patrol quest or your noble deeds quest, or both, is also a smart idea. This took me about 20 minutes to do and I just ran around in the plague lands. Anyway, when you're done with that, you'll be headed to the crucible for void kills. You need to kill people with void damage. I don't know how many you need to kill exactly, it seemed to be in between 100 and 150 kills depending on what you use to actually kill someone provided that it is void damage. Unlike year one, dying does not lose you any progress, so die as much as you want. You might think, oh, hey, I can use my old Atheon's epilogue that I've saved in my vault. And yes, while you can do that, let's just say that overall weapon quality is much better now than it was in year one. If you are going to use Atheon's epilogue, then prepare to get outgunned maybe more than you might think. I'm all right at Crucible and it was a little painful using it. Word of Crota, I'd imagine would probably be better, but I didn't have one, so I used Atheon's epilogue. Use the best void stuff you have in addition to the void subclass. This part is easily going to take you the longest. It took me about an hour and a half to two hours, although it felt like an eternity. After this, you will cleanse yourself and the weapon using Motes of Light. You only need five though, just, just five. Just use them like you normally would. And then the next part will come up. And this part will tell you to go complete the Abomination Heist Strike and open up the Strike Horde chest at the end of the strike. That means you need a Skeleton Key. So if you don't have one, you need to go get one first. You can run the strike directly from the Director, just hit Summoning Pits and put it on the 320 Light difficulty. You open up the chest at the very end, and Thorn will pop up on your screen at 350 light. This is the last of the exotic quests from your book, the other three being Outbreak Prime, Gallahorn, and Kvostov. All in all, this took me about eh, three to three and a half hours to do. I already had a skeleton key, so I didn't need to grind for one. But yeah, it's basically the year one version of the bounty, except easier. As for Thorn itself, I haven't been hearing the greatest things about it ever since it got hit with the range nerf and obviously I haven't gotten to use it since I just got it. It still seems usable in PvP but there are plenty of options out there now in terms of weaponry, at least compared to year one. It's not really a PvE weapon, it's pretty tame in that department, at least historically it was, although I don't really see that changing right now. And uh, that's how you get Thorn, year three version. Told you, it's pretty self-explanatory. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.